back out here live. Game one coming up tonight at 8 o'clock. That is the moment that everybody's waiting for here. But you've been able to talk to Florida Panthers fans. Ian Margul, who, look, we're going to be honest here. He's a Florida Panthers fan himself. But I, I think that's, maybe. That, that's allowed you to kind of <laughs> enjoy this experience from a fan perspective. What have you been able to see from all the Cats fans that have made it out here to Vegas? So what's really cool is, I mean, look, there's a party starting out here, right? What's really awesome is how many fans have made it out here to the desert to show their support. And I think South Florida fans get a lot of grief for being fair weather fans, but the fans that are come out here, they are hardcore and they're here to watch the team go for a Stanley Cup. Panthers! Panthers fans are out in force in Las Vegas, ready to cheer on the Cats in the first game of the Stanley Cup final. Vegas is always great, but uh, Stanley Cup final, can't believe it. Esther Rush is one of the diehard fans we found around Sin City. Go Panthers! She's a season ticket holder, has 20 plus jerseys, and she's no stranger to following the Cats on the road. I go to every single game, anywhere from between three and five away games a year. I've seen the Panthers play in 26 arenas, including Helsinki, Finland. A lot of talk's been made about us and our, our path. This is the first time since 1996 that the Panthers will have a chance to play for the Stanley Cup. Vegas, on the other hand, actually made it to the final during the 2017-2018 season. But regardless of who wins, NHL history is going to be made because neither team has ever won the cup. And now Fort Lauderdale Mayor Dean Trantalis and Las Vegas Mayor Carolyn Goodman have a friendly bet going. The two exchanged tweets on Friday, agreeing that whoever's team loses will have to walk around the town wearing the winning team's jersey. And Mayor Trantalis, if you're watching, I did do my part just a few days ago when the Stanley Cup visited our local 10 studios trying to convince Lord Stanley that South Florida is the place to be. Get used to the humidity because this is home now. This is it, at least for a, a year. But this is home now. I hope you're cozy. I hope this is air conditioned. Do you think it's hurricane proof? And now the Panthers did take care of the Carolina Hurricanes, but we're in hurricane season back at home. If you did not get here to Vegas to watch, there are going to be watch parties at the arena at FLA Live. We have all the information you need on local10.com. And you've been making fun of me because it's 95 degrees out here and I'm wearing a suit. A little hot. Let me say this. The heat out here hits a lot different than the heat in South Florida. I'm feeling fine right now. Yep. If I were wearing this at 85 degrees in South Florida, I would be absolutely drenched. Stripping but wet. this isn't the only finals experience that we got going on right now. We know that there is a big one going on for the Miami Heat. So we're going to sign off from here until 6 o'clock. So now for Ian Margol, I'm Clay Ferrero. We are live in Las Vegas. Clay Ferrero, Local 10 News.